So this is our thoracic spine treatment as far as our rehab goes. Now remember, we have an MSA, myofascial release, our foam roller, our S, our stretching, and A for activation. First one we're gonna start with is the myofascial release. Get out your trusty foam roller again, and I want you to hit your thoracic spine. So that is your rib cage, and just kind of work on getting that extension through that mid back. Then we have to do the rhomboids. So that's where she's going to cross the arm across the chest and then lean to that side. And then she's going to roll up and down on that inside edge of that shoulder blade. Okay. Next progression is still stick to that same side and raise that arm over her head. And now she's going to hit the side area here called your latissimus dorsi. We're just gonna call it your lats. She's gonna bring her knees up She's gonna to try to use her legs to kind of push and pull up and down so she can roll down that rib cage. Let's go ahead and let you know. If you've never done this before, it can be pretty tender. Have all kinds of little knots in there. So what you do is if it really, really hurts, stop where it's at. And then you can even put your legs down, just kind of relax for a little bit. And I like to kind of move this arm around and kind of dig those little spots out of there. If you're kind of confused what I'm talking about, try it. You will feel it. It doesn't take much for you to uh, Feel the tension, especially right here in that posterior shoulder area, right through there. You have tons of little muscles. Terry's minor, Terry's major, like all these little areas right through here get locked up and bound up. Transition from the lats to now the front part, your pecs. So you're just gonna roll around to your stomach and now she's going to have her foam roller parallel her body and she's going to go right there on that front part of the chest shoulder area. Arm is going to be straight here, preferably thumb down all that weight if she can is gonna be driving into the shoulder. Sometimes I'll have people put their hand here and kind of pick their body weight over it and then roll, adds a little bit of extra tension to it. Now, I like to kind of go from the pec shoulder down into the bicep a little bit, which is what she's doing. And once she's kind of okay, this is a little tender, it's tight, she's worked it out, then she's going to move her hand to the small of her back and now she's just gonna focus on just that front part. A lot of times people have some bicipital tendonitis right through here. This is just an easy way to kind of help get more blood flow to that area. The foam roller sequence for the upper extremity shoulder girdle. So remember, if this is your issue, you're having some overhead type issues, you can't really get that thing to move. Sometimes it's a pec, sometimes it's a lat, sometimes your thoracic spine doesn't want to get out of your way, your shoulder girdle. So try these things before you go to the gym and do those type of movements is the prayer stretch. So what she's gonna do is find a bench, a couch, something like that. She's gonna put her elbows right on the edge of it. Put her hands just like that to kind of get some tension to it. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna try to let her head and thoracic spine drop. So the more this kind of goes down, the more she's trying to get that thoracic spine extension, which is what we've been working on in this whole thing. Try not to have lumbar spine extension focus here between the shoulder blades. So what I like to do to try to help encourage this is kind of brace here and try to push down in that elbow and then relax. See if you can go a little bit further. Take a nice deep breath. See if you can go further and relax. Add a movement. Remember how we were doing that shoulder mobility thing for your exam? See if she can bring her fingers and try to touch the top part of her ribs. So what she's doing here is getting that movement pattern that we worked on where it's stretching your lat, the tricep, all of that shoulder girdle movement with thoracic spine extension. We've done the M, the S, now we've done the activation. You put all that work in to try to get good mobility and just stretching, trying to make sure the movement looks good. Now can we activate that area? Strengthen it up so it actually can do what it's supposed to do. So we're gonna go back, remember how we did the open book? We bring the knees nice and high, did the stretching part. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with a little bit of activation. So she is in, go ahead and go to your hands. She is, has her uh, knees on the ground and try to let her um, butt kind of go back towards her feet. Now, the more her butt goes towards the feet, the more it locks in this lumbar spine. So if you're having trouble with this range of motion wise, then come out of it just a little bit so it's not locking it up so much because sometimes this is a very difficult move for people at first. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna put one hand on the back of her head and now she's going to open up that shoulder and she's going to kind of drive this down arm into the ground and try to work on getting that mid back extension. Then she's going to release it, try to round here. And then now she's gonna come back up to use her shoulder, drive that movement. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna make it a little bit harder for her. She's gonna bring her butt closer to her, her feet. Same thing. Push, 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 push. Now that's what I like. 
Your goal is to see if you can have a PVC pipe or a pole going from, go ahead and open up, from this shoulder all the way down to this hand. Sometimes that's pretty darn hard, so work up to it. Maybe work on that mobility foam roller and stretching a little bit more to see if this can help clean out this movement pattern. Trusty band, a little small circle band. We'll send you a link for this bad boy. Now you could actually technically do this while you're at work. We call this one like a micro break. Just put it beside your mouse and your water bottle so that way you see the darn thing. And every time you go to use the bathroom, get this bad boy out and work on some shoulder movement to try to improve your posture. So how to set up. What she's gonna do is she's gonna put it around her wrist, okay? What she's gonna try to do is think of extending the fingers because the more you get that extension through here, it activates the extension in your shoulder too, okay? Elbows are gonna be tight. Now, what we're trying to think of doing is if you were to do a basic rotator cuff exercise, to just an old school one, you would normally put a pillow or a pad or something, a towel underneath your rib cage so that you would just straight do external rotation so your elbow wouldn't go far out. Now, we're gonna try to move it a little bit different, but theoretically, I want you to think of squeezing that theoretical towel to your rib cage, okay? So what she's gonna try to do, bring it a little bit down, okay? Tall, nice paw, you can work on that posture, and what she's gonna do is extend the hands, good, and back down. 10 reps of these bad boys. Now, this is kind of hard. This is a little easier than what we're gonna do, because guess what? We're gonna change the angle of it. Now, what she's gonna do is go up just a little bit, same thing. Nice and out, good, perfect. 10 reps of this, try to think of squeezing those elbows in, come on, there you go. 10 reps of that, guess what? Gonna make it a little harder. Now what she's gonna do is go up where her arms are parallel with the ground, same thing, squeeze, good. Really fight to keep those elbows in. So this is the light band. So like you can see, this is <laughs> not easy. So this is trying to get all the shoulder girdle moving. Face that way. Keep going. So this is strengthening up the posterior shoulder and it's working on keeping that scapular stability through here. Now we're gonna add what we call a box on the shelf. Go ahead and go back to your position. We're gonna look at the back first and we'll go to the front. So push it out, pretend like you're holding the two foot box. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna think of wrist, elbow, shoulder, it's gonna stay all in line. You're taking a box from the bottom shelf and putting it on the top shelf. But what it's doing is it's trying to teach that shoulder blade to stay stable and not wing out when she's having her arm move in space. Perfect, box on the bottom shelf and reach to the top shelf. Good. Now if you're like, hey, this is hard, but I wanna make it harder. I just tell people pretend like you're holding a platter. Pull it out, take that platter from the top shelf and put, or bottom shelf, put it on the top shelf. 10 reps each side, I promise you will feel it all in there. But guess what? Your posture will feel nice and good when you're ready to get back to work. This is our MSA approach for our thoracic spine to try to help improve that extension and rotation of the mid-back. This one is super important. That's pretty much why we're doing it first because if your thoracic spine stinks, it's kind of hard for your neck posture and your lower back posture and core to work. So hit this bad boy every single day.